Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is still Dmitry Mrzenski and it looks like you liked my previous video about RxJS streams where I was trying to explain them using analogs from real life and uh, I decided to continue and create a couple of videos where I explain uh, a bit more complex RxJS operators using the uh, analogs from real life, so using some mental models and in this video, we're going to cover operator called zip. All right, let's start with the mental model and try to find, you know, some analogs from real life. And the mental model for today's video is a food. And namely, we're going to cook some royal dish, the food of gods, and it is durum. It is also known as a wrap, shawarma, shawarma, shavucha, and so on. By the way, who lives in Berlin, you are so lucky you have the best durums I have ever tried. Just five stars out of five and one love. But okay, let's get back. So, what do we need in order to make a durum? We need some ingredients, right? Namely the flatbread, meat, tomatoes, cabbage and sauce, of course. This is the absolute minimum. And durum is basically an array of all these ingredients. Would you agree with me? So we could imagine every of that ingredient as a separate stream, like stream of flatbread, stream of meat and so on and so forth. And another second one is a stream which already delivers a ready to room, right? And then the algorithm is pretty simple. Every ingredient stream should emit a value, yeah, because we cannot sell it when at least one of these ingredients missing. Then the chef should collect together all emitted values together in one array and sell it already to our happy customer. And then this process just repeats. And in this case, in RxJS world, the role of chef plays the operator called zip. This operator waits until every stream emits a value and then it emits an array which contains value from every of this stream. So let's have a look how it looks in the code. All right, let's code it. And uh, in fact, I did some preparation in order to save your time. So let me quickly onboard you. So what I, what I created, I created the type durum, which is array of ingredients, flatbread, meat, sauce, whatever. Then I created separate stream for every our ingredient. Yeah, so we have five of them and they are subjects and if you don't know subject this is some special kind of uh, observable stream which allows you to emit values into it manually by calling next method usually regular streams cannot do this yeah we could do it different ways we could use more best practices we're gonna drop it and keep it as simple as possible just for learning purposes right so uh, yeah, streams of ingredients. Then we have the second stream for our room. Yeah, there in this stream, we will be emitting the ready um, wraps. And here in ngon init, I assign to the room property uh, the stream which I creating using the zip operator. And as an argument for this zip operator, I use all my ingredient streams yeah and then inside the pipe for uh, stream created by zip operator I use tab in order just to console log what is what is inside yeah just for debugging purposes and then inside the template I have just you know few buttons on click on every of this button, we emit some ingredient. Is the ingredient either flatbread or meat or sauce, whatever. Yeah. And here's the ng container. So once we uh, 
build our the room yeah we'll see some image there yay so um let's get started and uh, maybe let i would suggest you to add some you know ta tap uh operator as well in order to you know to see what we are emitting in the streams yeah so i'm gonna save it and let's go to the browser and try to click stuff around so in order to create the room we have to add flatbread right so i click it and i see console logged flatbread this is what uh, this first stream has emitted right then i do the same for add meat and we see that meat has been emitted so same logic there and pay attention that we don't go to this part yeah we don't go there it waits until all of these uh, streams emit at least one value so we have to add sauce we have to add tomato and now when we add cabbage then we have all required ingredients in order to make it a room and if i click it boom bon appetit beautiful we have our room and here you can see the console log yeah this is our array so once all of these streams emitted the value only then we proceeded further and reached this uh, tab operator yeah and we just console logged it and of course we we saw this image because there's the check that if length more than zero we see some image whatever and here's the another thing i would like to highlight but for these i would need to add some counters for our ingredients all right here we go here's a counter separate counter for every ingredient and in our stream i added additionally map which just attach the increment counter every time we emit it and attach it to the name you know just you know to visualize how many times was emitted some sort of ingredient and i just added this uh, map operator which takes the name of the ingredient and uh, attaches the count in increments the counter and attaches it to to its name yeah so it was like this yeah and now it is like this yeah and i did it for every operator nothing nothing really complex so let's save it and then go to our application all right treat these five buttons as a five separate persons who delivers you know some small portion of ingredient to us yeah it will be better to to understand this and imagine the situation that all right the guy who is responsible for flatbread delivered the one piece then the guy who responsible for meat he provided at this time two portions yeah he does his job faster the guy who is responsible for sauce delivered immediately three portions right and the guy responsible for tomato delivered one portion and the guy responsible for cabbage delivered also one person perfect we created one to room they all using the first arrived portion of every ingredient yeah so what happened with meat and sauce we emitted more than we, we emitted portions more than for one uh durum, yeah so for meat we have one extra unused portion and for sauce we have two unused portions what happens with them should should we throw away it no the thing is that they are in the queue so it means that if i add flatbread one more time then i skip add meat because we remember we have one unused portion then i skip sauce because we have two unused portions then i add tomato and if i add cabbage we will get another room you can see they were created using the 
second portions for every of this stream. So zip operator kind of aligns the order. So let's say our first doodoom is built from the ingredients which arrived first for every ingredient stream. And the second doodoom will be always built with ingredients which arrives second. And it continues so on with third and with fourth and further. Yeah. So now I hope you understand better how a zip operator kind of aligns things. Once I recorded this video, I realized that many of you who worked with combined latest operator may ask what the difference between zip operator and combined latest one. And indeed, they have some common behavior at the very beginning, but eventually they are very different. And I would like to show you this difference right now. So currently there is a zip operator. So this operator waits until every stream emits a value and then it emits the array which contains the value of every this stream. And then in order to emit the second such array, we should emit value again from every of these uh, five streams. Yeah, and then we see the second one. But if we switch to uh, combine latest and it requires array of observables. So here we go. I go back, clean up and check this out. Combine latest operator waits uh, until all of these five streams emit some value. So this is the same behavior like with the zip. Yeah, we see this array and everything fine. But after this moment, there is a key difference between them. Now this array will be emitted every time any of these five streams emit a new value. So if I add flatbread, you see we have a new array which contains the latest value from uh, flatbread stream and the latest value from other four streams. So meat one, sauce one, tomato one, uh, cabbage one. Yeah. And if I click one more time bread, then it will emit another array with flatbread three, but still it has the latest values from those four streams. Yeah, and if I change tomato, it takes the latest value from every of these five streams. So this is the key difference between zip operator and combine latest one. All right, guys, that was it. I hope it was interesting and it helped you to understand better zip operator. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my video courses about Angular material theming and about GraphQL engine called Hasura. This one is really cool and can help you a lot if you use GraphQL in your project. I wish you a productive week. Please leave your feedback and see you in the next videos.